But what happens is with your valve right now, we've got cold pressure right here and hot pressure right here. When you flush the toilet, all of a sudden that pressure drops and all that's left is super hot water coming out of the shower head. With this valve, it has a chamber inside here that feels the pressure and when the cold pressure drops, it drops the hot by the same pressure. That gives you a consistent temperature out of the shower head. No more scalding. Great. So for us, it starts by us turning off the water downstairs and removing the trim pieces. Oh. One down. One down. With the handles removed, I can now remove the escutcheons and the stems. <laughs> to cut this tile to accommodate our new shower valve. Now this is what the finished trim is going to look like when we're done. What the manufacturer does is provides a template to help us cut the right size hole. Now I extended with a level the center point of the old valve, both horizontally and vertically. And on the template there are register marks. We just have to line up those marks and trace the template. To remove the tile I'm going to drill a series of holes using a ceramic drill bit right along our template line. I gotta be careful here because if I go too far and crack it beyond the template line, we're into a tile job. Now the trick is to make sure that the ceramic drill bit is pushed hard against the tile with steady pressure. Now I'm gonna take a cold chisel. It's got a sharp point on it and connect the dots to break this tile away. Remember, I've got to work in here and not split the tile outside that template line. So I've got to give it a sharp wrap. Now we want to extract this valve from the wall. Now it starts by removing the tub spout. A modern tub spout has a set screw at the bottom. This one doesn't. This one threads in. Now protect the chrome by using a rag and then just give it a steady counterclock. Oh, that was pretty loose. Now, I could do all the work from right here, but I actually discovered an access panel on the other side of this wall. Make our job a lot easier. I always wondered what this was in the closet. Well, homes of this vintage often had these access panels right behind the bathtub, so if they ever had to service the drain or the valve, it's gonna help us today make it a little easier. So I'm gonna start by cutting this top connection up to the shower head. Good. Now break the unions on the hot and the cold. Okay. All right, well here's our pressure balance shower valve body and we're going to connect the cold and the hot to the cold water line and the hot water line. We want to get the valve body to be centered in our opening so we want to get it right about there and we can make this connection right here going up to our shower head. That should be perfect. All right, well, all of our new piping is in place. I've cut all the piping and cleaned it and fluxed it. I've got our hot supply, the cold supply, up to the shower head and down to the tub spot. Now with it all cleaned and fluxed, it's now time to solder. Now it's time to put our finished plate and trim on. Get everything ready to go. So here we go. I got a couple of screws I gotta line up. This valve comes with a new tub spout, so that matches the handle. I've already put the Teflon tape on. And that just goes on hand tight. Good. Now the handle. All right, Aaron, I'm going to let you do the last step. Put the handle on. Here you go. Okay. There's an off, cold, and hot, so stick that right in line with the off. Now it has a Phillips screw you've got to put in there. Just pops right in? Yeah. Just tighten that up. How tight should it be? Tight enough that it won't loosen. Okie doke. All right, the last step is the index. Take that. The last pop it. step. Yeah, absolutely. Stick it right over that. And it just Screw. pops right in. Yeah. You are in business. Yay!